Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmasamboon.com and today I'm gonna to be sharing a little bit of a different video with you. I do this every once in a while. I'd say I do it every season, but I don't. But I guess I did do it for my cold weather wardrobe last year and then summer last year whenever I was pregnant with Theo. So that's what I'm gonna to do today. I'm gonna to be sharing with you my capsule wardrobe for this upcoming hot weather season. Now I have been collecting together things over several seasons. There will be links in the description box below for anything that I picked up this season. There are also some things I'm gonna be showing you that there won't be links for because it is from years past. But just sharing how I build this out and the color palette and how I approach this as sort of a minimalist. So I do very minimal with my clothing. This just is the easiest thing for me. I only have half of an armoire and a little basket that I put all of my clothes in. And so having a nice pared down wardrobe, especially for a season like summer, means that I have very little clutter and I feel like I can be put together-ish on a regular basis very easily. So first up, I'm gonna be sharing with you this black skirt. This skirt, I actually did pick up this season. It's a wrap skirt. I love this skirt because it goes on really easily and it dries really fast. So a few days ago, my family and I went down to the river for a quick family day. And of course, everything got soaked in the boat. That's how it works. And when we got back to our car, I set this thing out on the gravel for like 10 minutes and it was dry. So it is the fastest drying material. It also just feels easy and light and nice, which I like on pretty much any day, especially in the summer. So in the morning when I first get up, in the winter, I just throw on the nearest hoodie so that way I'm instantly warm for the day. Well, in the summer, I want something to throw on, but I want it to be really easy. And I think this is gonna end up being my thing that I throw on right away, first thing in the morning, and then I actually change into my outfit after that because I always want something that just goes on quick, comfy, I can get out into the kitchen and start cooking, and then I change usually later. I think this is my go-to. I really wish they had more fabric choices that I like. Unfortunately, this was the only one I really liked, so it's gonna be the only one. Now my capsule wardrobe for this season could best be described as neutrals with a mix of blue and green. I love blue and green throughout my home. I love neutrals, so it's kind of my overall theme. Blue, green, black, white, tan. So that's what I have here. I do have some denim mixed in as well because that's always classic. And other than the dresses, a lot of things can just mix and match. For this skirt, I love pairing it with a tank top, either black, white, or tan, a sun hat, and then these cute little strappy sandals that have a little heel on them. Now that's not for every day, but when I wanna look a little bit more put together, it's perfect for that. I also like that I can wear this combo with any of the shoes that I have this season. Now, I do have too many shoes. I normally don't have this many shoes for any season ever, but I somehow ended up with a bunch. But any of the outfits I'm gonna show you can all be swapped out with the shoes. All right, the next thing on my list is this linen shirt. So I picked up some shorts. I actually really struggle finding the time to shop while also trying things on, so I usually just get something. And I have to admit, these aren't my favorite shorts ever. They're not terrible. They're at least somewhat long, but I would like them to be a little bit longer and I usually, I just don't really prefer this hem. They're gonna work, I'm not returning them because I also don't have time to return things. So this is what it is, but I also wanted to pick up some shirts that go with jean shorts just because although they're not my absolute favorite thing, they're really easy to throw on anytime. And so I wanted some shirts that dress them up. So I found a few shirts on Carly Jean Los Angeles that are like a t-shirt, but a little bit more put together. They're linen and they're a little bit more structured. I have a few that are buttoned down and then this one that it just slips on. And of course, any of these can go with any of the shoes that I have. They're all very mix and match because they are green, tan, black, and then sort of a brown color. So it all goes very well with all the clothes. Another thing I found this season is this linen skirt. I love it. It is so comfortable. I wasn't sure how long it would be. I like that I could pull it up really high, which helps for postpartum body. Shorts don't, which is why I really don't like shorts. However, I do like having them for very casual days or like if we're out in the garden, um, wearing something like this isn't as practical. But how it looks, I love. And it actually is really comfy. 
can wear it with any of my shoes to dress it up or down. Of course, it looks really cute too with my sun hat. <laughs> But I wish again that they had more of this particular skirt in colors I liked. But I guess as long as I have two good skirts that are in colors I like, that's probably plenty. And it has pockets, which is always good. Now, another thing that I like to have is this denim vest. I wear this over dresses. I actually never tried it with this. Eh, I don't know about the button on button, but it's very versatile. It goes with so many different things. I'm gonna throw it on with one of my dresses for the season. So this is one of the dresses I have. This is actually from years past, I think maybe even two years ago. So I guarantee you cannot find a link. I'm very concerned this year with things that are breastfeeding friendly because I currently have a six month old child which makes that very necessary. I also love pockets, anything lightweight, but something like this, um, I don't always like because it's hard to hide the bra straps, but whenever I throw on this denim thing, now this makes it to where it's hotter. So I only will do this whenever like I'm going somewhere, not just around the house. But I like that it makes it a whole new outfit, basically like a skirt and a top and I will wear this like out and about with friends or on a date night or something like that. I think it makes it more versatile, covers up more, just makes it a whole new outfit. And I can do that with a lot of my various dresses. This is a dress that I actually got last year or two years ago. I am keeping in my capsule wardrobe for this year three floral dresses. They all are just really nice, lightweight things to wear every single day. I love things that dry quickly whenever they get wet because I'll be out in the garden and I'll be spraying the hose, I'll get myself wet. Something that has this like very swishy, lightweight fabric is perfect because then I dry really quickly. That's what it's all about. It's all about easy and something that I can wear every single day. Like those linen shirts, those are perfect for a friend day out or a night out, something to dress up shorts or denim uh, jeans, but they're gonna get dirty really easily. So I won't probably be wearing them just on my everyday. I'll be wearing something like this, shorts and tank tops. Those are all my go-to staples. One thing I almost completely forgot to include, I actually had this in the laundry, I like it so much. So whenever I set out all my clothes, I got everything out of my armoire to show you. I forgot this because it was in the laundry. It's a very comfortable, lightweight summer dress. I find it very good as a swimsuit cover up because it dries so quickly. I like the little ties. It's very simple. It'd actually be extremely simple to make. I don't feel like I have the time to sew right now, but if I did, this would be so easy. It's, it's actually just like the dress I showed you a few summers back when I was pregnant with Daniel, except for that the tops tie, and on that one I didn't do that. But a nice breezy little fabric. This is probably my favorite of all. Again, I wish I had this in more colors. I'm gonna keep saying that, because when I find a piece that I really love, I always just want to wear it every single day, but then usually they don't have like as many fabrics as I want, so I build a little collection out. But I also like this is very easy to nurse in. All right, this is another dress that I've had many years. I actually got it when I was pregnant with Daniel. It's a maternity dress, but it works really well even when you're not pregnant. Another thing that works great with the denim vest. Great with a sun hat, which I'm trying to wear all the time, so that way I don't get sunburned and I don't get age spots and wrinkles and all that good stuff. I'm not going to try on and show you every single tank top and shorts and t-shirt, because I do have a couple of t-shirts, a couple of tank tops, and then I have my denim shorts, which I already showed you. Those I'll just throw on for every day, but that's not really inspirational at all, because honestly, it's not my favorite outfit. It's just what I throw on whenever I'm around the house but I hope that you enjoyed me sharing my capsule wardrobe with you 
and gave you some ideas for some outfits and hopefully some inspiration to keep your wardrobe minimal this summer. It really makes it to where you can reach in, pick any combination out. So any tank top goes with any of my skirts, goes with any of my shoes. I can dress it up more with a little heel or I can make it really casual for out in the garden. I love having easy to wear things that help me feel put together on any random day, even when we're just around the house. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living in a handmade home. Every once in a while, I share with you what I am wearing while doing all of those things. Thank you so much for stopping by our farmhouse.